Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com, your online piano store. And you probably clicked on this because you thought it was either a mistake, three plus three equals five, or you thought I'd lost my mind. Well, believe it or not, it's neither one of those. I'm going to show you how three plus three equals five in certain circumstances and how this can possibly be. You know, recently I did a video on what is a triad. A triad is the building block of Western music. It's a chord containing three notes arranged in thirds, and you have two thirds, a third on the bottom and a third on the top. So, here's a triad. We have a third on the bottom, there's one third, and there's the other third, three and three. And yet, the outer interval, is a fifth. One, two, three, four, five. A root, a third, and a fifth. How can two thirds equal a fifth? Did you ever think about this? Now, many of you will probably know instantly what the answer to this is, but I thought it was an interesting thing to ponder how you can build a chord out of two thirds and end up with a fifth because that doesn't make mathematical sense. Well, the reason is that the bottom third and the top third share the same note. It's as simple as that. One, two, three, four, five. So you have a root, a third, and a fifth, which is comprised of a third on the bottom and a third on the top. And that's the simple mathematics of it. So three plus three equals a fifth in triads, but the math is still right. So don't worry about it. Don't trade in your calculator or rack your brains over this any further. I hope this is clear. If any of you still have questions about this, put them in the comments here at livingpianos.com and YouTube. And if you have any other theory questions to address in future videos, I am here for you. Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. Thanks so much for joining me.